Hey, Stan, um, well, I remember basically the, the, the interview itself. Uh, I met Stan in his uh, New York uh, apartment. Uh, we spent the uh, whole afternoon together talking about his trading career. And um, I loved the thing about Drucker Miller was how, how completely open he was about his whole career, the failures, uh, the successes, and uh, some, some great stories uh, came out of that. In fact, one thing that sticks out out of that uh, interview is uh, Drucker Miller uh, made the worst trading mistake that any trader has ever made that I interviewed. In fact, he made a trading mistake that was so bad um, that I can't make up a worse mistake. And what that, mis what that trading error was, was he switched his position from short to leverage long the exact business day before the great crash of uh, October 1987. So like I say, I can't make up a worse uh, error. Now what was interesting is he was such a phenomenal trader that he was able to finish that month with, with a break-even or near break-even return. And the way he did that is because even though he reversed at the worst possible time and the market gapped down 12% or so right on the opening that Monday morning, he was such a good trader and he realized actually over the weekend that he had made a mistake that he knew he had to get out and he not only got out but he actually went back short again. Yes, 12% lower, but he reversed back again. And so he actually salvaged the whole thing. Uh, and it's one of my examples of uh, the epitome of a professional trader who has the flexibility to completely reverse a position that when he thinks he's wrong as opposed to sitting there and hoping it'll come back.